it's your boy Zap, a professional Saint Ginger, and welcome back to the Robot Rumbles, Super Robot Wars Alpha Gaiden. We just finished wiping the heck out of everybody, even though Getter Robo got to do a whole lot of nothing. Catcher got shot in the face pretty damn hard, and we witnessed the first case of save scumming. Surely not to be thy last. Uh, get your drinks, have a drink for your boy. Ah, muy delicioso. And we get into the dialogues. We managed to somehow repel them, but... Garrison, take the doctor and the others and get them to a safe place. Very well, sir. You? We'll touch base with the preventers. Meet back up with us later. Understood, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, do take care. And it's going to cost me 6000 because Botchmania. This is fine. Got two mastery points, though. We on the road to hard mode. Uh, in the long term, though, hard mode gives us less cool things. I think easy mode will at least net us uh, GPO2A and maybe a couple other swag boys. But I digest. I do digest. Banjo, is Lieutenant Quattro? Of course not. He never seriously joined the Titan side. I know that, but what's with the what's forcing him to help out? Ellipsis. You know the main members of the Londo Bell posted at Conpei went missing right after the Londo Bell got disbanded by the Federation, right? Yeah. Captain Bright saw the disbandment coming and tried to separate our forces. But the Federation and the Titans invoked their full power of the law. And most of the SDF and Londobel mechs got confiscated by them. It's plain to see the Lieutenant Quattro, Captain Bright, and others were all placed in captivity at some the same time that happened. Ellipsis. Don't you know where they're all being held? I've been gathering info through several channels, but I'm not entirely sure. Did they coerce Lieutenant Quattro into helping by taking Captain Bright and the others hostage? Most likely, yeah. The Titans must figure that using them would make it easier to conquer Japan. Damn it! They're a real bunch of scumbags! Still, I doubt the Lieutenant Quattro would help them out with no questions asked. I guess he's digging up info on Bright and the others' whereabouts and waiting for a chance to strike. And just quietly bearing disgrace in the meantime, huh? Yeah, that's his style. Lieutenant Quattro, I knew you'd have your own reasons. Banjo, what are we going to do now? Contact the Preventers, join forces with them, and drive the Titans out of Japan. I don't want them getting a hold of any super robots crucial to Project Aegis's success. He's right. We can't allow Shin get a robot to get taken by a group like the Titans. Yeah, they better keep their eyes peeled. We'll give them some hell. Marbit, is the Preventers fleet coming to Japan? Yes, but we've used several means to send the others some rendezvous coordinates. So now everyone just has to shake off Titan's pursuit and meet up together. Uh, excuse me, can I explain what the heck Preventers are? When the SDF and Londo Bell forces received orders from the Federation to disband, the AUG, Karaba, and the League Militia formed a secret military organization to preserve what little clout they had left after being exposed by the Titans. I think that's supposed to be the League Militaire? Not sure on the facts there. I don't recall victory too well. Their goal is to overthrow the Titans who are running from veneration with an iron fist. Though we haven't gotten all our mem old members back together yet. It's pretty safe to say that we're the only group currently capable of standing up to the Titans. Well, you sure haven't done much to inspire confidence. It can't be helped. Up until now, we've had our hands full just trying to get everyone together again. And that's why you didn't get taken prisoner by the Titans, misspelled Camille? That's a girl's name, and that's not a girl. Yeah, before the Londo Bill was disbanded, I got an order from Cat to Bright to make contact with the Preventers, and to slap you for saying my name wrong. 
in order to keep the Zeta and the Double Zeta from falling into the wrong hands. I get it, then the Double Zeta and the Quebly Mark II got sent to where we were in Japan. And what about you, Uso? Us! The Titans tried to take Shakti and the rest of us prisoner at Casarelia. What? But Camille and the others saved us just in the nick of time. And Shakti and Carl are safe? Yeah, right now they're being sheltered by the Preventers. Oh, good. So, joined up with the Preventers to make sure they stay safe. That sounds like a hostage situation. Frankly, I don't want to involve you in any fighting, Uso. But times have gotten tough. We're short on manpower. We're shorter on manpower than we were before. It's alright. I was hoping to help out Koji anyway, along with everyone else we fought alongside in the Balmar War. Koji. Wonder how he and Sayaka and the Olders are holding up. Are the Preventers gathering the other group members? No, there are still a lot of people whose whereabouts we just don't know. I doubt the Titans have every single member in their custody, though. I wonder what Duo and Hero are up to. I've had trouble contacting them lately. They're out in space. Ellipsis. Pudusu, I guess the Titans must be holding you prisoner. Let's head for the Preventer's rendezvous point. Others may be gathering there. We'll be sure to settle things with the Titans this time and save the Earth Sphere by making sure that Project Aegis succeeds. And on that glorious note, uh, we get to do a little planning at our, uh, yeah, planning. Uh, first and foremost, White Ark, it's gone. They are one use only and forever. Uh, Chobo armor, you're not getting that. 10% hit rate. Now... What tends to be the case is supers have a hard time hitting because they're so big. I'm going to give Banjo the dual sensor. And we're going to give Getter Dragon the Chobo Armor. Uh, those are breakdowns. You can give each of them their own item. So weird. Uh, upgrades. Dietarn is going to be our boss killer, but for 50 points. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That's, that's only 800. 800 for more. 520,000 to get 800 more points. But back on Double Zeta, for 465,000, we get 1,000 points across the board. What is this shit? Um, also, I believe possibly that stats and attack power might go up depending upon what kind of attacks you use. There's a particular condition later on involving involving Zabungle, which I'm actually going to take a moment of dialogue to investigate. Uh, secrets. Let's see. Genesis Corin. Unless I'm wrong. Okay, yeah, later on. So there is a situation in which you can save someone in particular if you use only a specific kind of attack and defeat them with it. But as I had read somewhere once, that the only way to do that is from the moment you get Jiron and the uh, Zabuggle is to only use Punch. As if that levels the weapon up or... Maybe it's a case of using melee attacks raises the melee stat more quickly on your level up, and vice versa with the uh, ranged. Uh, def eating hits raises defense, 
dodging, raises evasion, so on and so forth. Um, I'll actually try to look into that later, or you can post in comments below about what an idiot I am and tell me the proper way things happen. That would be glorious. But for now, we're going to... We still have no modules, this is fine. Unit upgrade. Um, as it stands, you are a glass cannon. You're getting more armor. You will get more energy. Uh, you will I'm gonna raise your limit. I think if the pilot stats are too good for the robot, you're not getting as much efficiency out of it. Um, let's see. This is acceptable. And of course, we save. We save. Is there anybody we should take a look at that we haven't already? I think I might have skipped over Sandrock, but... You have two attacks. You do have decent defense, but you're not to be relied upon. Ah, yes, this boy. Getter Dragon, a.k.a. Getter 1. Uh, we get him. He does have transformability. Look at all these weapons. Shine Spark, which I'm surprised we have now. But then again, if we are to be getting Shin Getter, it's not going to mean too... Eh. It, 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 it's good. It's, it's good things. It's good times. Well, unfortunately, we don't get the uh, Getter Transformation combination. This game's not that advanced. The uh, Peep Getter Liger. Uh, three attacks. Uh, this is uh, good land robots. And has a special... 50% chance to dodge everything, uh, the Maha Special. And this is errors as per emulation. Top Vita. Oh, okay, no. Get her Dragon, get her Liger. Down here is get her Poseidon. Uh, the Champion of the Seas, you see that A rank. Uh, at some point I will, uh, you know, hype this up. Daizetsu-san Oroshi! I just want to see how it looks, you know, the old days. I look, pounce! But, uh, as you can see here, even Getter Beam counts as a melee attack. Despite that it's not. But that said... Uh... Oh, good grief. That's unnecessary. Um, once again, part three is gonna run a little short. It's always gonna be the wrap-up and the upgrades. That way, next time, we get straight into the hype, straight into the action. You'll get to find out next time! on Robot Rumbles, Colony Drop Cosplay. See ya boy Zappa, see ya next time.